throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yards. Okay. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Levis back to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On second down, a run with Patterson, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Levis looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 45-yard line. That's his first catch of the game, and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, going back to Patterson. Shifts by him at the 25. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Off the play fake, Levis. And it's caught. Touchdown! Mike Gesicki, a 22-yard touchdown play. And the Titans are an extra point away from taking the lead in this Super Bowl. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Jose Borregales for the extra point. It's up and good, so they go the conservative route instead, and it gets them a 7-6 lead here in the opening quarter. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And the football going back to the Vikings offense. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Lance. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Lance. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. A run there with Henry as he gets forward only for about three. Second down coming up. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Working from the gun, Lance. When you see passes knocked down by those guys that call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Throwing his Lance on third down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. 
We've got a lot more ahead of us here in Super Bowl 60. Second quarter coming your way next. 7-6 our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Appreciate everyone joining us. Super Bowl 60 here tonight. Time to begin the second quarter. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis up in the booth as we get set to resume play. Over the middle, it's complete. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Lance. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. From the gun on third down, Lance. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Vikings first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Throwing now is Lance. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Traquan Smith, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings have regained the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw, and the defense, they had no answer for that right there. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drop as they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. First down 10 at the 38 yard line. Levis sets up to throw here. He'll complete this one. You can And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 36. A right side run with Patterson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Levis. Now a short one to Gesicki. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And third and eight now. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Levis on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 22-yard line. And he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Second down, here's Levis. That is caught at the seven. And it's a Titans touchdown. T. Higgins, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Titans are an extra point away from taking the lead. 
Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Extra point right down the middle. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Up and send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Lance. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Meanwhile, Lance's throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as the tackle is made at the 28-yard line. Off the option, here's Henry. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. Lance now on first down. Touchdown, Vikings! Robert Woods from 10 yards out. And the Vikings have yet again retaken the lead. A really well-executed fade route offers little risk for the offense. If you throw it to the outside where only the receiver can get it, it's either a touchdown or an incompletion, but no big play for the defense. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Robert Woods touchdown reception. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Titans are ready now. Will Levis out on the field. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. 
Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Now Levis. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Levis to throw it. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Five yards, now it's third and five. Levis out of the shotgun now. And that's going to be incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. On play action, Lance. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decide to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return, and it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Levis now on first and 10. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Running left, here's Patterson. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run with Patterson. And he's gonna have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. First and ten, here's Levis. Now a short one to Gesicki. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And very little there. He might have got a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Levis. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half. And on third down, 
They looked his way again, and what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Meanwhile, Levis is thrown here, taken in by Gesicki. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, it's Levis. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Levis looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Viking 17-yard line. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. That's taken in by Higgins. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Levis back to throw. Yeah, get this to his tight end, Gesicki. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. T. Higgins, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Titans have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. We got a solid first half out of the man from Kentucky, Will Levis. He threw a first quarter touchdown the pass. Here comes and two more in the second quarter. A three touchdown pass. Still half. going. And he may just be getting get started. To the 25. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased. Doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. First and 10, it's Patterson taken down at the 42. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there to fit. Levis in trouble, down he goes. That winds up pushing it back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. 
He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. Levis sets up the throw here. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. as a 53-yard punt. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 65 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes a little tread left on the tires. A well-executed 22-yard game. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Throwing on first down is Lance. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Play action, now it's Lance. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now Lance. Right side complete, that's Woods. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 26. It's a pick up of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Draw play, this is Henry. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and they have regained the lead. It's his third field goal now in the ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back and forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. 
Levis to throw on first and ten here. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Patterson running between the tackles. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And Levis with a smart move sliding down after picking up the first. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's Levis. Being chased out left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They'll look to throw here. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball free, and it's second down. Straight ahead, Patterson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Levis from the gun. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he'll put it away for the fourth time today. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stumped the run. Here's Lance to throw it. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. To throw, it's Lance. And he 
he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's four. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. The Titans now just about ready to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Hand off, running left, Patterson. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Levis to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Now Levis. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick, but instead it's third down. Back to throw here. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Lance now on first down. And that's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing his lance on third down. A tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You know, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And what a letdown after a huge play. He's going to pull this in and then set sail for the end zone. And he nearly made it, too. But he's going to be tracked down just short of the goal line. So big play there that's going to set him up with first and goal at the one-yard line. 
Up next, the biggest quarter of the entire season. At the end of that, we get to crown a champion. We are through three here in Super Bowl 60. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Only one quarter left here in Super Bowl 60 as we get set to begin the fourth. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Back, back around the eight. It's a big loss of five there on second down to bring up third and goal. Levis out of the shotgun now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Unsuccessful pass on third down, but at least you got three points here in your hip pocket. Yeah, and I would take it from my hip pocket and put it right on the shoe of my kicker and go get those three points. This isn't even a discussion to make. This is a chance to take the lead after a good drive. Do it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And out now come the Vikings. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. And a busy night for Henry continues. And he tries to power forward, but he will not Get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Here's Lance. Quick slant here to Smith. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. But they need two. Here's third down. This is David Boyd. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. And he's got Smith here. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll make it second down. Lance going to throw. Complete. It's Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 90 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. But definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Again, it's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the 33, here's a second and eight. And Lance now to throw. This is caught. It's Woods. Touchdown, Vikings. Robert Woods, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Vikings have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Lance going to try to throw for this. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hit 
That's the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. And out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and one. Levis back to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Third down. Here's Patterson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Most their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. First and 10, it's Levis. That's complete to Mooney. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Levis sets up the throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have a Titans first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. They can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. It's second and inches at the Vikings 33-yard line. They'll give it to Patterson. And he gets it down to the 32. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. On first down, Levis. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Back to the air on second down, Levis. That's to the tight end, Riley. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Here's Levis. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So certainly a big mistake there, Charles. First and goal, and they throw the interception. Oh, that's just agonizing for a team because you still got at least two, maybe three downs in your pocket. 
So if it's not there on first down, there was no sense in trying to force something. Instead, they turned the ball over. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game. Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Lance looking to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. Well, hang on here. DeAndre Hopkins is shaken up, so we're going to have a pause for an injury. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second and seven. To throw, it's Lance. And his throw is going to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now Lance again. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. But it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch, seven for it, and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Out come the Titans now. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second down and four. Again, Patterson. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Levis to throw it. Over the middle, complete. It's Patterson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Back to throw, it's Levis. He's got his man on the crossing route. This is Higgins. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 38-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Second and ten. Now Levis. That's taken in by Higgins. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Then he's got some space. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten. A 
A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Levis. And it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Ten-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here, and if so, they still got an opportunity. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets them behind the line. They're not messing around. They'll run again. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Let's take it at around the 40. So Levis and the Titans now. Down by seven. A minute 44 to go. And they have to have a touchdown to level this Super Bowl as they come up on first down. Levis to throw. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to thank the guys on D. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Levis' throw here, taken in by Gesicki. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Levis. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. This is first and 10. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6-5 tight end. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Now still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There are about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So what a Super Bowl this has been. All tied in the final minute as it kicks away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Final 
whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes.